The Main Street Arts Festival continues in downtown Fort Worth. It's the first full weekend day of the festival, and typically that means huge crowds. Still, organizers say this event will carry on today, rain or shine. Our Don White joins us live in Fort Worth, sharing some of the plans they have in place to navigate this weather. Hey there, Don. Robbie, the festival kicks off today at 10 o'clock, and as you can see behind me, it's uh, a little dreary out. The rain is coming down pretty hard. We did hear some thunder, saw lightning several minutes ago. However, it is starting to get a little bit lighter from what we saw here about an hour or so ago. And for more on what the festival is doing with the severe weather, I am joined now by Claire Armstrong, Hi. spokesperson. Good morning. Good morning, Don. How are you? I am good, and we are dry for now under the stage. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what's, the, what's the festival doing with this weather today? Yeah, so we are opening at 10 a.m. per usual. Um, we're open rain or shine, so uh, we are encouraging everyone to come on out. Bring your rain jackets and your umbrellas and your rain boots and um, enjoy enjoy the the beautiful cooler weather today. Um, we we typically stay open uh, if it's raining. We'll only really close if it starts to hail or if the thunder and lightning is out of control. Um, but as of today, we're planning on staying open all day. And what are you telling vendors with this weather? Yeah, just stay weather aware. Um, you know, the winds aren't bad today, which normally we get really bad winds, and that's where we may have to close some of the tents, but we're not planning to close at all. So um, it's actually a great time to come out because it's not as crowded. You can talk to the artist. You can see the artwork up close. Typically, Saturday's our busiest day. It's not going to be busy today because people don't want to come out in this weather. So why should people still come out? And I know we were talking about this earlier that once you go in the tent, you're covered, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you have your umbrellas, you can you can actually come out here and not get wet at all. Um, you can go inside the tent. You can talk to the artist, peruse the art, and then just go to your next tent. Well, thanks very much, Claire, for joining us. Yeah, and in the next half hour, I'm going to be talking to an artist originally from Nigeria. He now lives in Fort Worth, and he has a very unusual story you will not want to miss. Live in Fort Worth, Don White, CBS News, Texas. All right, Don, thank you. I am rallying for a break in that rain. Thanks for the update. Day three of the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival carries on despite the rainy weather today. A jury panel looked at more than 1,000 artists and selected just 213 of them for this festival. So our Don White joins us live from Fort Worth with an unusual story of one of the artists showcasing there. Good morning, Don. Robbie, we have seen all kinds of art here, ranging from stained glass, we've seen pottery, handbags, jewelry, also drawings. And I'm joined now by an artist who has a very interesting story. It begins actually on another continent. Uh, Jerobai, you go by Jaja. Yes. So where were you born and how did you end up in Fort Worth? Uh, I was born in Nigeria, in, in a river state and in a city called Port Hackett. And um, I was opportuned in 2013 to come to the United States um, on a scholarship by my government and um, actually did computer science for my BSc and my master's in cybersecurity. However, I've always had this interest for drawings and representing my, you know, my stories through drawings on paper. So I've always honed that craft of mine and mastered it to a certain level. And now I had the opportunity to expose my skill and I gradually transitioned from computer science to art. And I'm very much loving that transition. I know you have no formal art training, but you yes. did win Best Emerging Artist here in 2021, yes. 2022 Best yes. in Show. Tell us a little bit about your arts and the meaning behind it. Um, so I really like to express my stories and like this art right here is called On a Journey Far From Home. So this is basically um, a representation of some of my stories back home. So like I come from a state called River State and a hometown called Opobo. And in Opobo that's more um, one of the main modes of transportation. So we all create and draw and, and like journey on canoes. So this is just my story reminiscing and telling myself I've been on a journey and while I'm on this journey I'm not just alone 
but I'm determined to achieve what I'm going for. However, I do have a friend, and this friend right here is my support system. It's anyone that has really just been part of my journey, and that I just like to express my drawings, uh, emotions through my drawings. Very powerful story, very and good much. luck today. We are in the nice dry tent now, but it is raining outside. And in the next half hour, I will have more on what festival organizers are doing to prepare for the rain and precautions that they're taking. Live in Fort Worth, Don White, CBS News, Texas. Thank you for the update, Don. Weather, of course, a big concern as the Main Street Arts Festival continues in downtown Fort Worth. Now, today is the first full weekend day of the festival, and typically that means huge crowds. Still, raid or not, organizers say the show will carry on. Our Don White is there live this morning giving us an update. Good morning, Don. Robbie, the festival kicked off just a few minutes ago. It officially opened at 10 a.m. We are under a nice tent right now. You can see behind me the rain is starting to come down. We are seeing it start to lessen up a little bit, which is good. We have not heard any thunder, lightning in the past hour. There are weather preparations that are going on for the festival. And for more on that, I'm joined now by Claire Armstrong, the Hi, spokesperson. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? Staying I'm dry? I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit moist right now, but, uh, you know, trying to stay dry. I've got my raincoat on and my, my rain boots, so. You're prepared. I am. And what are some of the, the preparations and the different things that you're doing with the weather like this today? Yeah, so like we're open. At, we're opening at 10, like I said. Um, we, all the artists are here. We're going to have live entertainment. The food vendors are going to be open. Um, we do have a comprehensive weather system in place. So if it were to become stormy or whatnot, we'll communicate that via our Facebook or Instagram pages. But we're really encouraging people to come on out. Um, this is a great opportunity to meet with the artists up close and personal, see their art. There's not going to be a lot of people today. So this is actually a wonderful time to come down and get um, some great views of the art. And what about the economic impact as far as the restaurants, the bars, hotels here, and also the sales for the artists? Yeah, so every single hotel room in downtown Fort Worth is full right now. So all the restaurants have been packed. Um, we're expecting hundreds of thousands of people throughout the four days this year. And we have 213 exhibiting artists expecting to sell over $4 million worth of art. So the total economic impact is $28 million to Fort Worth. Very impressive. Yeah, it's great. And in the next half hour, we will be seeing the art and talking to an artist originally from Nigeria. He now lives in Fort Worth. He has a very interesting and unusual story you will not want to miss. Live in Fort Worth, Don White, CBS News, Texas. Thank you very much for that update, Don. Day three of the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival, and yes, it carries on in spite of the rainy weather today. A juried panel looked at more than 1,000 artists, and this is how tough it is to get in. Selected just 213 of them to showcase their works. Our Don White is live back at the Arts Fest this morning to share an unusual story of one of the artists there. Good morning, Don. Robbie, the festival is officially underway. It kicked off at 10 o'clock this morning. We are seeing all kinds of art out here as far as paintings, pottery, woodworking, even stained glass. And I'm joined now by one of the artists who actually is from a different continent, now lives in Fort Worth. Uh, Jerobai, you also go by Zsa, Zsa. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your story, where you were born, and how you ended up in Fort Worth. Uh, my name is Jerobai Andrew Jaja, and I'm an immigrant. I'm from Nigeria in the western part of Africa, and I came on a scholarship to the United States to study computer science, and successfully I got my bachelor's and my master's in cybersecurity. However, I've always been interested in the arts, so it's something I've always honed over the time period since I've been a child, you know, so I always like to express myself. So I don't like to say I draw, I like to express emotions on paper and um, I've been successful enough to be in a position where I can uh, you know expose myself and show my craft and my skill to the world and people are very receptive about it. 
Also, what's very impressive is you have no formal art training. You got Best Emerging Artist here two years ago. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your work. Yes, so um, this specific work, I call it Sweet Innocence, and it's specifically speaking about how it takes a community and a village to raise a child that blossoms. And I use butterflies because of the metamorphosis, because even though you're an adult, you're still being raised by the community, you know, there's a religious community, there's actually the community, the city, the state, there's friends, there's neighbors, there's just colleagues at work. So as an immigrant, you know, one of the challenges is being away from family. And I've been away from family for over 10 years. And I've been able to, this is me right here, I've been able to get that community. And I'm also now part of the community helping to raise other people that need to blossom. So I really like it. It holds so much value to me. And I just like to express those stories via drawings on paper. And if people want to come out and see, see you, your booth is at 5th and Main yes. here. Booth 571. I want booth to see five, you out here. 571 today and tomorrow. tomorrow. It will be out here. Yes. And we will have uh, more on the event, which runs until 11 o'clock today. That will be on tonight on CBS News Texas. Live in Fort Worth, Don White, CBS News Texas. Thank you, Don. That's just beautiful.